like diving or snorkeling? Did you know that the dive tourism industry is increasing at a rate of over 1 million new divers per year, with 20 million certified scuba divers already out there? Well, this is great news on one hand. On the other, we have to be sure we're diving responsibly and minimizing our impact on the environment. Healthy coral reefs host abundant marine life, are an enormous draw for tourists, and help boost the local economy. However, coral reefs are very sensitive to stress. A fifth of the world's coral reefs have already been lost, with more than 60% under immediate and direct threat. Increasing temperature, ocean acidification, pollution, and overfishing all play major roles, but poor diving or snorkeling practices can too. For example, divers and boat anchors can easily break coral that takes years to grow, damaging the habitat that fish and other marine animals depend on. As a diving community, we all make choices that have an impact on the long-term survival of the dive sites we enjoy. So what kind of choices can you make if you're thinking of diving in? You can turn to a set of eco-friendly diving guidelines developed by the United Nations Environment Program in partnership with the Reef World Foundation. The Greenfins approach helps dive operators reduce their environmental impact by regularly assessing and certifying their performance. It also provides training and educational tools for dive staff and divers alike. If you're a dive operator, consider getting certified with Greenfins. If you don't have Greenfin certification in your area, consider adopting and applying the guidelines voluntarily. This includes ensuring the use of permanent moorings to prevent anchor damage to the reef, mandatory onboard waste management practices, and respecting local environmental regulations. A healthy ocean means a healthy business. If you're a diver or a snorkeler, look for a Greenfin certified operator in your area. Remember to follow a no-touch policy and keep your distance from coral and other marine life, especially when taking photographs. Avoid unintended contact by improving your buoyancy skills and securing your equipment. Try not to stir up sediment. And of course, don't litter. This will help you and future generations enjoy our blue planet. And most of all, have fun!